the Nigerian Governors Forum has hinted that it might opt for dialogue with bandits, other groups, and people affected by their atrocities to end the nation's security challenges. News reports has it that Fayemi, who is the chairman of the Nigerian Governors Forum, gave the hint on Tuesday during a visit to the governor of Niger State, Abubakar Sani Belu. Speaking during the visit, Governor Fayemi called for proper coordination among the security outfits, adding that the synergy was required for optimal results in ending the security challenges bedwilling the country. He stated, saying, we also need to explore other avenues side by side with whatever the security institutions are doing. If that means engaging in dialogue, we may not have a choice. We may have to do that. Anything to help us to deal with this immediate crisis and then to begin to address on a much more longer time basis the root causes of this social dislocation responsible for what we are witnessing all around us. The Ekiti State Governor hailed Governor Bello for his efforts in securing the release of passengers that were abducted in Niger State Transport Service bus on February the 14th. Other governors that were part of the delegation were Simon Lalong, Plateau State, Abdurrahman Abdurrazak, Kwara State, Abdullahi Sili, Nasarawa State, and Aminu Tambuwal, Sokoto State. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular issue as it were? This is a welcome development if you'd ask me, because dialogue is only the way forward. The way to address this issue is dialoguing with all groups. You cannot choose to dialogue with the northern bandits and then unleash the military on the Eastern Security Network and IPOP in the southeast. That is not fair play at all, and it does not speak well or augur well with anyone. But with the way things are going right now, if eventually the Governor's Forum, you know, take a stand and decide to dialogue according to what they are beginning to consider, it will be the best approach, as it were. Dialogue is the way forward. The bandits in the north do not deserve dialogue because they are into killing, kidnapping, and all what have you. Those who actually deserve the dialogue much more are the people of the IPOP and the Eastern Security Network. They are the ones that, they, that deserve the dialogue much more better. But in the first place, before dialoguing with IPOP, IPOP must first of all be deproscribed. Then the trial of Nambekano, the cancelled or withdrawn as the case may be, then there cannot be a level ground, you know, of playing and discussing to uh, dialogue with the government of Nigeria. There and there, we might just be talking about restructuring the country the way it ought to be. Well, if this is the, if this eventually happens, it will be the best news ever in the bid to coordinate the activities and handle the security challenges in the country. I personally, for one, would ask the governors or the governors forum to spearhead this dialogue and quickly ensure that this dialogue is carried out. Because it is in the interest of the people, it is in the interest of peace, and it is also in the interest of the nation as one or as a whole. Because selective dialogue and negotiation is not the way to go. Governors are already negotiating with bandits, paying them ransom, but the Eastern Security Network guys and the IPOP members are not into those activities. So why not actually release, why not actually dialogue with them rather, why not meet up with them 
set up a roundtable discussion with them and dialogue. We all know the challenges uh, that is facing the Southeast and the major reason why Namdekano and the leader of it and the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP as it were are pushing for the secession of the country. It's as a result, as a result of huge marginalization of the people of the Southeast, which to a very large extent the president has you know, turned blind eye to and deaf ears to. So it is really, really sad and unfortunate you know, that we are in this particular situation as it is. Now the governors are beginning to come to a good understanding and uh, it is better that they decide now to engage in dialogue rather than unleashing the Nigerian military on the members of the indigenous people of Biafra and uh, the Eastern Security Network. To a very large extent, this will go a long way in addressing the issues between the people of the Southeast and the government as a whole. But before the dialogue will, will take place, if Namdekano will agree, you know, the first things, or first things first, IPOP has to be deproscribed, acknowledged as a group fighting for their rights, defending themselves. Those who have been arrested and detained has to be released. You know, definitely Namdekano will come up with his conditions to dialogue with the government. So if the governors also decide to dialogue with those in the north, then it is what it is and it is up to them. But however, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. What are your thoughts, guys, concerning this particular news story as it is? Do you suggest or, uh, you know, subscribe to the opinion of dialoguing with the bandits in the north? Personally, well, the governors are already um, dialoguing with the uh, bandits in the north. But personally, I think I'm of the opinion of dialoguing with IPOP members in the southeast. That will go a long way. That will address the issues, the agitations. That will bring relative peace to the southeast. That will also put to bed lots of crisis, lots of misunderstanding, lots of issues you know, that has bedveiled the people of the southeast and Nigeria as a whole. So that is the first thing and the first step to be taken and it is a welcome idea and it is the right step in the right direction. So what are your thoughts guys concerning this particular new development concerning the issues in the country? Well, drop by at the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.